Ty vyvedl jsem si třeba ten Fairy Blessing Peace to vypadá jak Scamming Valentina, tam se třeba pýtal, to je jeden typ z těch vesel, povídá na to nejmladí, oni má to vedne v sní na nás, povídá na to nejmladí, oni má to vedne v sní na nás, povídá na to nejmladí, oni má to vedne v sní na nás, povídá na to nejmladí, oni má to vedne v sní na nás, povídá na to nejmladí, oni má to vedne v sní na nás, povídá na to nejmladí, oni má to vedne v sní na nás, povídá na to nejmladí, oni má to Ten jsem měl slovy a dnes mě na nás, takže se vesně zrovna v 14. srpnu zrovna se pána učím se tím dílem a bohývám tady se jich jedině. Vodem mersi, vodem mersi, vodem mersi. Tvoje dík pro slávu, nejsi do sámy svého hlouzky, jež od mě ani tebe nezavíš, že zejdu za mě. A nás bavě od tvoje těch nevím, ale jsou tajný, tady jsem jim tam, tady byl bych tam nejlepší, že jsem tady. Jivěl se chtějí, že jdej tady, že chodí do sáčka z práce, že ty chodí do sáčka z práce, že nic tak. And we just know that the temptation of the rest from the evil one. Let me 
Come let us worship and fall down before the King of our God. Come let us worship and fall down before Christ the King and our God. Come let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, the King and our God. Oh, save me, God, by your name, judge me by your might, God, be my friend, listen to the words of my mouth. For oh, strangers have risen against me, powerful men have pursued my soul, and instead of contemplating God, behold, God is my helper, and the Lord is the sustainer of my soul. He will return evil upon my enemies, and he will destroy them in his truth. With eager heart I will sacrifice to you, I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. You have delivered me from all my affliction, and my eyes have looked down on my enemies. O oh, Lord, listen to my prayer, do not overlook my supplication. Give heed to me and answer me, I dispute in my meditation. I tremble at the enemy charging me with the oppression of the wicked one. They brought down evil upon me, seized with anger against me. My heart recoiled within me, and the anguish of death befell me. Fear and trembling came upon me, and darkness covered me up. And I said, Lord, give me wings like a dove, and I shall fly, and I shall come to rest. Behold, I have fled to a distant places, and have made the wilderness my home. I have waited for God to deliver me <coughs> from faint-heartedness and windy storm. O oh Lord, confound and divide their tongues, for I have seen evil and strife in the town. Day and night it whirls upon its ramparts, and inside there is sin and trouble and injustice. Views are in fraud and ever absent from its public squares. Had it been a foe who insulted me, that I could have endured. Had it he who hated me who stood up against me, from him I could have hidden. But you, a man of kindred soul, my guide, my closest acquaintance, with whom I ate in sweet companionship and walked in harmony within God's house. May death come down upon them, may they fall into hate and delight, for evil is within their dwellings in their very midst. As for me, I have appealed to God, and the Lord has heard me. At dusk, dawn, and noon, I will cry out and call, and he will hear my voice. He will deliver my soul in peace from those who came close to me, from the crowd that surrounded me. God, the master before all ages, will hear and humble them, for in them there is no repentance, for they have not feared God. He offered his hand in self-giving, but they broke away from his covenant. They were scattered by the anger of his face, and their hearts became tight. Their words were through the oil, yet but they themselves were dark. Place your burden upon the Lord, and himself will sustain you. He will never let the just be, dis he will never let the just be tossed around. If your Lord shall cast them down to the pit of destruction, men of blood and speech are not about half their days. But as for me, I will hope in your Lord. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides in the shadow of the God of heaven. To say to the Lord, you are my wall, my refuge, my God, in whom I will trust. He who gives you a savior from the hunter's snare, from the deadly pestilence, that his kingdom will overshadow you, and beneath his wings you shall rest secure. As a shield and his truth shall cover you, shall not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the thing that lurks about in darkness, or the pestilence, or the demon of the moon. For a thousand may be falling at your side, and ten thousand at your right. No harm shall come to you, but you with your eyes shall observe and see the retribution of the wicked. Because you have said, O oh Lord, you are my hope, you have taken the most high your refuge. O you of the composed, you are not ready to go to the first of the For you will command the angels to watch over all your ways, and their hands are to carry you, lest your stomach will be put against the stone. Upon the ass and the life, you shall tread, and the lion and the dragon you shall trample. If you trust me, I shall save him, I shall protect him, bring you my name. You will call on me, and I will answer him, I am in him in the time of distress. I will deliver him in glory, and with length of days I will feed him in my salvation, I will let him see. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Of now and forever, and the ages of ages, Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Give me creator, Lord, in the depth of your wisdom and love to mankind, direct the soul, giving to each one what is good for salvation. Run the rest of the souls of your servants, for they place their trust in you, our creator, maker, and God, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since there is no one in whom to confide because of our many sins, the Virgin Mother of God, intercede for us with the ones who are born from you. For a mother's prayer is a powerful means of obtaining the master's favor. O you who are most worthy of veneration, do not turn away from the of us sinners, for the one who will to suffer in the flesh. For our sake is full of mercy, his power is sufficient to save us. Let your bounties, O Lord, come quickly to come down upon us in haste, for our need has become great indeed. Help us, O God, our Saviour, for the glory of your name. Save us at last, forgive us our sins for the sake of your name. Holy God, holy might, one holy mortal, one have mercy on us. Holy God, holy might, one holy mortal, one have mercy on us. Holy God, holy might, one holy mortal, one have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and after the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, mercy on us, Lord. 
Jesus and our sins, pass the pardon and iniquity, sorry, on to you, he runs over this dear name, say, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Amen. Father, glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and ever, now and the ages of ages. Amen. With the saints, for the rest of Christ, and the souls of your servants, for reason of pain, sorrow, sorrow, signs, and life everlasting. On the mercy, 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 on the mercy. O the mercy, 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 at every time and every hour in heaven and on earth, worship and glorify Christ God, long suffering, great in mercy, great in compassion, loving to the just and merciful to the sinner, calling all people to repentance by the promise of the blessings to come. Be my Lord of this very hour, to receive our supplications and to direct our lives on the path of your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set aright our minds, bend our thoughts, deliver us from all affliction, trouble, and distress. Wall us about to be holy angels that are guided and guarded by the hope and maintain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of your unapproachable glory. We are blessed of unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord the mercy, Lord the mercy, Lord the mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. For honourable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, from above corruption, we have birth to God the Word. For the very clear talk of you, do we magnify in the name of the Lord, blessed Father. May God be merciful to us, and bless us, and cause the light of his countenance to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. O God, Lord, the power of the maker of the whole creation, O you, in your compassion, beyond understanding, send down your only begotten Son, our Lord, which is Jesus Christ, for the Saviour, for the salvation of our race who through his cross cancelled the debt of our sins and overcame the powers and masters of darkness, O Lord and Mother of mankind, accept from us sinners these prayers of thanksgiving and petition, and preserve us against any deadly fall in the darkness and against every enemy, seen or unseen, who may be seeking our harm. Pierce our bodies with the fear of you, so that looking only at all times and guided by the light that shines from you, we may behold your unapproachable eternal light and unceasingly address to you, eternal Father, and turn to the Son, your holy good and life, your spirit, our thanksgiving and worship now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Please let us pray to the Lord. Salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Well, for the welfare of the holy churches of God and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Please for the house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to Lord the Lord. Lord have mercy. Our Father Francis Pope of Rome, whose beatitude our Father Archbishop Lucian. Our most reverend Bishop John Michael, the Honorable the Christ the Bishop Magnus and Christ, and for all the clergy, the monastics, and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Our country is present in the government, and for all those who serve and protect us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord, for all cities and countries beside, and for the more religious. And for all the faithful who dwell in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Who would bread us from abundance of the fruits of the earth and for temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. As we travel for those who are sick, for those who suffer and those in prison, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Delivered from all distress, wrath, Tribulation and want, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Preserve us, help us, save us, have mercy on us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. In the rich and our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Savior, Holy Spirit, deliver the rich and the individual, the saints. 
Let us commend ourselves and one another and our life unto Christ our Lord. Thank you, o Lord. For to you is the glory, honor, and adoration to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. So then, Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and let all that is within me bless his holy name. Ever blessed art thou, O Lord. Again and again, peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the perfect of the Son of the Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our life unto Christ our God. Do you, o Lord. For those of the majesty and those of the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. O only begotten Son and Word of God, Thou who art immortal, yet didst condescend for the sake of our salvation, Become incarnate of the Holy Mother of God, and ever Virgin Mary, without change becoming man and being crucified of Christ our God. With death didst thou conquer death, thou who art one of the Holy Trinity. Glorify together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Again and again, peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. May God save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Blessed are you, and they shall revile you and persecute you. 
speaking all that is evil against you, and truly for my sake. Be glad and rejoice, for your reward is very great in heaven. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ. Save us, O Son of God. Thou who art glorified in thy saints. Save us and sing to the Alleluia. Sakelia, you the Creator, Lord, who in the depth of your wisdom and love for mankind direct us all, giving to each one what is good for salvation. Grant rest to the souls of your servants, for they have put their trust in you. Our Creator, Maker, and God, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, with the saints, for Christ, and rest to the souls of your servants,
I cried, O oh my God. St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Brethren, all things are lawful, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful, but not all things build up. Let no one seek his own good, but the good of his neighbor. Eat whatever is sold in the meat market without raising any question on the ground of conscience. For the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. If one of the unbelievers invites you to dinner and you are disposed to go, eat whatever is set before you without raising any question on the ground of conscience. But if someone says to you, this has been offered in sacrifice, then out of consideration for the man who informed you, and for conscience, do not eat it. For the earth is the Lord's, and everything in it. And to your spirit. For the sixth time,
Let our souls say with our whole soul, and our whole mind let us say, O I am thy mercy. Lord and Master of all, the God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray you, our holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, whose beatitude our Father Archbishop Lucia, our most reverend Bishop John the Michael, and for all the reverend clergy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy. And also we pray for our country, its president and government, and all those who serve and protect us. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. And also we pray for our brethren, priests, the monks, the nuns, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Also we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon and forgiveness of sins, for the servants of God and devout and orthodox Christians, those who dwell in or visit in his holy monastery, the founders and benefactors of his holy monastery, and for all who have asked for our prayers, unworthy though we are. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And so we pray for the blessed and ever to be remembered fathers of this holy monastery, and for all our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rescue for us, and who heal us where I sleep in the Lord, and that they may be pardoned all their offences, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Also we pray for those who do mocking, those who care for the beauty of his holy and venerable house, for those who labor in its service, for those who sing, and for all the people who are present, Go away, your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. To you are merciful, O God, the lover of mankind, and to you we ascribe glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages. Of Amen. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the souls of the servants of God who have fallen asleep, and that they may be pardoned all their offenses, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, our God, may establish their souls where the righteous rest. Lord, have mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. The mercies of God be into heaven, and the forgiveness of their sins with the fast of Christ, our immortal King and God. And the soul God of spirits in the lost place who trampled down death and Christ the devil, giving life to your world, be you, Lord. Give rest to the souls of your servants who have fallen asleep in a place of light, a place of green pasture, a place of refreshment, whence pain, grief, and sighing have fled away 
Had in us what God is your good and not make time. They received them to by them were you were born, because there is none to believe and not see sin. For you alone are without sin, and your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servants of Christ our God, and to you we will give glory together with your eternal Father and your Holy Word and life giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Wisdom that being preserved always under your dominion, we may offer you glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages.
down to the ages of ages. Amen. May the Lord God remember in his holy and heavenly kingdom our holy father Francis Pope of Rome, his beatitude, our father Archbishop Lucian, our most reverend Bishop John Michael, all the God-loving bishops of the Catholic and Orthodox faith, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May the Lord God remember his holy and heavenly kingdom all clergy and monastics everywhere. Our monastic associates, our extended communities, may the Lord God remember them in his holy and heavenly kingdom now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May the Lord God remember our president, our civil authorities, all those who serve and protect us now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And may the Lord God remember all the Orthodox Christians in his holy and heavenly kingdom now and ever and unto the ages. Amen. That we may now deceive the King, the King of all. That we receive the King of all, the King who is surrounded by. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Precious gift here offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. This holy house, and for those who with faith and reverence in the fear of God enter it, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, our danger and constraint, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Thy day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. An angel of peace, the faithful guide, a faithful guide and guide of our souls and bodies. Let us ask from the Lord. And us, O Lord. Bless the forgiveness of our sins and press the sin that which is good and profitable for our souls and for the peace for the world, let us ask from the Lord. And us, O Lord. Let us spend the rest of our lives in peace and repentance, and for a Christian and for our life without pain, unashamed and peaceful, and a good defense of the fierce and just and secret Christ, let us ask from the Lord. And us, O Lord. Lord and King, our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Sacrifices. 
for our sins and those committed in ignorance by the people. Count us worthy to find grace in your sight, that our sacrifice may be well pleasing to you, and that the good spirit of your grace may rest upon us, and upon these gifts we are set forth, and upon all your people, through the compassion of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your Holy Ghost and Life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace to the Lord. And to thy spirit. Let us love one another so that with one mind we may confess the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one in essence and of divided trinity. The doors, the doors, through wisdom let us reach attention. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and the invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, we say this together, begotten of made of one essence with the Father, by whom, all, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. He was crucified also for us, suffered under Pontius Pilate, and was buried. The third day he rose again according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead. Of his kingdom there shall be no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well. Let us stand near. Let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. The mercy of peace, the sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion in the Holy Spirit be with all of you and with thy spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is fitting and just that we adore the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. One in essence and of
drink you all from this. This is my blood of the new law, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. Again, we bring you this traditional service for those who sleep in the faith, ancestors, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, teachers, and every soul that has slept in the faith, especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the fellow prophets and ever virgin Mary. It is truly fitting that we bless thee, Father of God, who art forever blessed and most innocent and the mother of our God. Thou who art more honored than the Grant 
us that with one mouth and with one heart we may praise and glorify you, most honored and most worthy name. Of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And may the grace of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with thy spirit. Having remembered all the saints again and again, please let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. May this be here set forth and sanctified. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God loves mankind, having accepted their most holy and immaterial altar above the heaven that the Savior of spiritual praiser may send them upon us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and constraint, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, say, God, have mercy on us and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Entitle me to purge with holy Stream without sin. An angel of peace, the faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask from the Lord. Grant us, O Lord, mercy and forgiveness of our sins and trespasses, that which is good and profitable to our souls and for the peace of the world, let us ask from the Lord. Grant us, O Lord, that we may spend the rest of our lives in peace and repentance and to a Christian end to our lives without pain and estranged and peaceful. And a good defense of your fierce and just and secret Christ, let us ask from the Lord. And and so Lord. Having prayed the beginnings of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our Lord. Glory, O Lord. Count us worthy, O Master, with boldness and without condemnation, to dare to call on the God of heaven, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace to all. And of thy spirit. Bow your heads unto the Lord. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical banquet. For I will not reveal your mysteries to your enemies, nor will I kiss you as did Judas, but like a thief do I confess to you, remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. Let the partaking of your holy mysteries be for me not unto judgment or condemnation, O Lord, but unto the healing of soul and body together. Receive the body of Christ. Is the fountain of immortality. Receive the body of Christ. Is the fountain of immortality. Receive the body of Christ. Taste the fountain of immortality. Receive the body of Christ. Taste the fountain of immortality. Receive the body of Christ. Taste the fountain of immortality. Receive the body of Christ. Taste the fountain of immortality. Receive the body of Christ. Taste the fountain of immortality. Receive the body of Christ. Taste the fountain of immortality. Receive the body of Christ. Taste the fountain of immortality. Receive the body of Christ. Taste the fountain of immortality. Receive the body of Christ. Taste the fountain of immortality. Oh. 
And having partaken of the divine, holy, most pure, the immortal, heavenly life, creating awesome mysteries of Christ, O faithful, let us give worthy thanks to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Of us and save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Asking that this entire day, may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life unto Christ our God. Holy of our Lord. We thank you, Lord, Mother of mankind, benefactor of our soul, that you have counted us worthy today of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our way, establish our soul in view of you, watch over our life, and make firm our steps through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Mother of God, the Holy Virgin Mary, and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now in their love, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth. In the name of the Lord, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Oh, 
O Master, Lord, Almighty God, we neither reject your servants nor ignore those who pray to you. You press through the souls of your servants in the bosoms of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, in the holy place, the place of life of the living and of the delight of paradise. Clothe them of their sins, whether committed in knowledge or in ignorance. Bring them worthy of rest and of joy to come and keep us free from sin. Bring us who are alive into happiness. Yet when and as you will, for you alone provide for our lives, grant this through the prayers of the Holy Glorious and of the Virgin Mary and of all the saints, to glorify and give thanks to you, your holy name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the holy name of the Lord, henceforth and forever. Blessed be the holy name of the Lord, henceforth and forever. Blessed be the holy name of the Lord, henceforth and forever. of this holy church through the prayers of our holy father among the saints greatly with the Lord and patient of the spirit through the prayers of our holy father among the saints john chrysostom archbishop of constantinople his divine liberty to celebrate today through the prayers of the holy higher mother theodotus of cyprus his holy memory and peace through the prayers of our holy fathers and mothers through the prayers of the holy and just ancestors of god the Archim and Anne, and through the prayers of all the saints, may this same Lord Jesus Christ have mercy upon us and save us, for he is gracious and lover of mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Oh, 
As intercessors, I bring you all the saints, both the angelic leaders and the bodiless powers, your forerunner and your wise apostles. Besides these, your immaculate and all sure mother, accept their prayers, my Christ, to our compassionate, and make your servant to be a child of the light. To you alone, good Lord, of the sanctification and splendor of our souls, and to you as God and Master, day by day, duly we all ascribe glory. May your holy body, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, be to me for life eternal, and your precious blood to the remission of sins. May this Eucharist be to me but for joy, health, and gladness, and at your awesome second coming, make me the sinner worthy to stand at the right hand of your glory, through the intercessions of your all immaculate mother and of all your saints, amen. O holy lady, Theotokos, light of my darkened soul, my hope, my shelter, my refuge, my consolation, and my joy, I thank you that you have accounted me worthy, Although I am unworthy to be a partaker of the immaculate body and precious blood of your Son, but to you who gave birth to the true light, enlightened in no ethic eyes of my heart, or you who bore the fountain of immortality, enlightened me who lie dead in sin. O compassionate Mother of the merciful God, have mercy on me and grant me humility and contrition of heart, and meekness in my thoughts, and deliverance from the bondage of my vain imaginings, and accounting worthy even to my last breath to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the immaculate mystery to the healing of both soul and body. And grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may hymn you and glorify you all the days of my life. For blessed and glorified are you to all ages, amen. For blessed and glorified are you to all ages, amen. For blessed and glorified are you to all ages, amen. Now, Master, let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared before the face of all people. A light to bring revelation to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins, Master, upon our iniquities, Holy One of Israel, heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy uh, our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto the ages of the earth. Amen. Amen. The grace which shone from your mouth like a torch of flame and lightened the whole earth. It laid up for the world treasures of freedom from avarice. It showed us the height of humility. But as you train us by your words, Father John Chrysostom, intercede with Christ God the Word, that our souls may be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You receive divine grace from heaven, and through your lips you teach us all to worship one God in Trinity, your venerable John Chrysostom, holy blessed. Fittingly we praise you for your guide that makes clear things divine, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O steadfast protectress of Christians, unfailing advocate before the Creator, do not despise the prayerful voices of us sinners within your goodness, Hasten to assist us who trustfully cry out to you. Inspire us to prayer and hasten to hear our supplication. For you intercede always, Mother of God, on behalf of those who honor you. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. We're honorable than the cherubim, and beyond contempt, more glorious than the seraphim who without corruption gave birth to God the word that early they talk of you to be magnified. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. O Christ, our true God, prayers of his holy name and spotless temple, prayers of our holy fathers and mothers and the prayers of all the saints, may this same Lord Jesus Christ have mercy upon us and save us, and be as gracious and kind of mankind. Amen. The prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen.